Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel or if you're new then hi my name is Kate. So today's video is my latest morning routine. I have completely switched up since the government's advice to lock down and not leave the house and stuff like that and I think during these uncertain and possibly anxiety provoking time. It's so important to have a really strong routine that really sets you up in that positive mindset for the day. Since I've been living on my own the last two weeks and I am in complete self-isolation, I've just found that this routine does the world of good. And I've even noticed that I am far, far, far more productive during the day. Anyway, I'm gonna stop chatting and get into my morning routine. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. I normally get up around 7.30, 8 o'clock, depending on when I went to sleep the night before. I really like using the bedtime app on iPhone because it wakes you up so gently and it also means you can track your hours. The first thing I will do is grab my bottle of water beside my bed and down as much as I can. This is so good for you because it gets your metabolism going and it rehydrates you after your sleep. I then grab my phone, check any notifications, have a little scroll on Instagram, here's me just liking some photos, and I also like any new comments on my posts. And I try to limit this to around five minutes. Here I'm just taking out the rods that I left in my hair overnight to give these nice waves and it's honestly so easy so if you want me to do a tutorial then let me know. I will then go ahead and choose my gym outfit. Today I've gone for this Gymshark one, it's one of my faves, super super comfy, I just love it. And there's something about wearing a gym outfit in the morning that really just motivates me and makes me feel like I'm ready for the day. I will then go and make my bed and this is the first task of the day completed so you do get this sort of sense of achievement and for me if my bedroom's tidy then my mind is clear. I will then head into the kitchen and make my favourite morning tea which is the white tea and raspberry rose. Sitting down with my cup of tea in the morning just makes me feel so happy and I think it's so important to take pleasure in these little things in your routine. Then I get comfortable on the sofa and this is when I properly go on my phone. I reply to my messages, I reply to you guys and I just sort of take about 20 minutes to wake up and gather my thoughts. At this point it is around 8 o'clock and this is when I will start yoga. I used to do yoga three times a week but since the lockdown I have been doing it every single day. It is now more important than ever to be getting the body moving, having a nice stretch and getting those endorphins and serotonin pumping around your body. Doing a 40 minute practice in the morning just makes me feel amazing. Um, but if you can't manage 40 minutes and you can only do 10 minutes, that is still great and it will definitely help. So I follow yoga with Adrienne on YouTube and she is just brilliant, I'll link her down below. I will always finish the practice with a bit of meditation. Sometimes I only manage one minute and sometimes I can do about 15 minutes. It's just so great for calming the mind and giving you a bit of peace and quiet before starting the day. At this point it is around 8.40 and I'm starving hungry so I'll make a quick snack before breakfast. Smoothies are such a great way of getting your five a day in. I normally make mine up depending on what fruit I have but today we're going for banana, blueberries, cherries, spinach, flaxseed, agave nectar and coconut milk. We'll then take this out on the balcony and the sun shines right on in the morning which is just so lovely to have some sun on my face and get some nice fresh air. I'll sit here for around 20 minutes and just scroll on my phone, chill out for a bit, sometimes listen to an audiobook or um, take selfies like I'm doing here. I will then jump into the shower and this is when I'll clean my face. I use the Liz Earl Cleanse and Polish. I also use the Liz Earl Cleanse and Polish body. This stuff smells like a spa, I love it. Now onto my morning skincare routine, yay! I'll start off by using the Elemis Balancing Toner. And then for moisturizer, I will use the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. I always rave about this, it just makes your skin feel so soft. I will then gently apply the Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment. This stuff is so nourishing and even if you don't have bags under your eyes, it's better to prevent rather than correct. And finally, I will use the U-Tan CBD Tanning Water. This really gives you a nice healthy glow to the face. 
And of course, I will brush my teeth. I use the Oral-B electric toothbrush and I'm honestly obsessed with it. I will then go and pick what I want to wear for the day. I will link this outfit down below. Just a quick one, I actually refilmed this section because previously I filmed my normal makeup routine and I wanted to show you guys my working from home makeup routine instead. I hope that makes sense. Anyway, I'm now gonna go in with my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. This is super lightweight, so it's a really nice natural makeup base. For concealer, I'm gonna use my favorite, which is the Rimmel Lasting Radiance, and I just blend this in with my fingers. And then onto another fave, which is the Chanel bronzer. And I just sort of apply this where the sun would hit your face, so on the forehead, cheeks, and nose. For blush, I apply the Iconic London Sheer Blush. This stuff gives you such a gorgeous color and it applies like a dream. I've recently been using this Bare Minerals Mascara and it's infused with cast oil, so it's really good for your lashes and it gives off a really natural look. And then I'll just go and line my lips with my favourite liner, which is the NYX one in the shade Leon. And then I'll just go in with a simple lip balm. This one is the Marlin and Goetz one. I am in love with this stuff. I've got like five of them. And then I'll finish off with the Super Facialist Soothing Mist. And that is my easy everyday makeup. So now on to breakfast. I've recently been loving this Pericone MD supplement powder. They are a skincare brand, so it's supposed to be really good for your skin. For breakfast, I'll normally have avo and eggs on toast or just eggs on toast. Today I'm having scrambled. It's just a really healthy breakfast and eggs are so good for you. They're full of vitamins and protein, so really great for your hair, nails and muscle recovery. I will then bring this over to my desk and sit and eat this whilst watching YouTube or listening to a podcast or audiobook or something and I really enjoy this little bit of time in the morning. Once I've finished breakfast I'll go on my phone to the notes section and the night before I'll write down all of my tasks for the day so I'll have a quick look over that and sort of scope what I need to be doing for the rest of the day. I will then put on some music, this song always puts me in a good mood for some reason, and I will tidy up the kitchen, unload the dishwasher, that sort of thing. And of course, wipe down the surfaces, this gives me so much satisfaction for some reason. I will then make my jug of water for the day, I do this every single day, and I'll just put in things like mint and lemon, strawberries if I have them. This tastes delicious and it also just encourages me to keep hydrated and keep on drinking throughout the day. I will then sit back at my desk and before starting work, I will write down my gratitude list. I do this nearly every single day and it's just a really nice way of getting your mind into that positive and grateful headspace. With the current climate, I think it's so easy to look at the negatives, but you just gotta put that on its head and search out for the positives, like being safe and healthy in a home full of food. I will then sit down and start my working day, of course, with a cup of tea. And this is when I'll start editing, doing my emails, doing any accounts that need to be done, preparing content, all of that jazz. And that is the end of my morning routine. I try and do these things every single day, but if I don't, I'm not too hard on myself. I just try my best because doing these things really helps me have a positive and productive day. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I love you all so, 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 so much. I'll see you next time. Bye.